We've got a visitor. Everyone knows Karthik, maybe, maybe not. You haven't been in since vlog two or three, maybe. Yeah, it's yeah, been... I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah, I think vlog two and three. Yeah, yeah, everyone thought you were gonna be a staple of the series. Now it's been like 25 <laughs> vlogs since you've been in, but uh, we're going to check out a turf farm. They're harvesting turf today. Uh, not sure exactly what we'll see, but uh, we're both keen to check it out. Absolutely. Let's go and have a look. We were invited, but I kind of feel like we're in the way. There's, they're just working away like nuts. Look at these rolls. Now that is some turf. I think this is being harvested for a sports field or something. We'll find out in a minute. Lots going on. How are you, mate? Hey, Tim, how are you? Good. Good mate. I think you meant um, come back the driveway then. Yeah, come back. Oh, matter, mate, hey, I'm like, good. I'm driving around. I'm like, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> like, no, mate, mate, mate. Patrick, how you are? Lovely to meet you, mate. Nice oh. to meet you too. Thanks for uh, having us. What's yeah, going on here all today? Good. All right, so um, we're cutting Tiff Tuff in maxi rolls. Maxi rolls. Okay. Maxi rolls. So this is our sports stuff. Yep. It's a little bit wet today because we had about 40 mil of rain yeah. last night. So we're at Muster in uh, Freeman's Reach. And you guys have got what Tiff Tough here, you got Australis, yeah, Sir Walter DNA certified. Sir Grange? Sir Grange, we grow the Sir Grange. Yep. We grow the Eureka Kite QU. Okay. And and our main variety we grow is the Tiff Tough sport grade stuff. Okay, so today this is what you're cutting. This is so sport grade uh, Tiff Tough. Yep, Tiff Tough Bermuda, yeah. Which is what I have out the front nature strip of my place, which I just uh, did a height reset on yesterday and gave its first cut in the last vlog. What what sport fields is this? It's going to Kemp's to? Creek Soccer Club. Okay. So, a so nice... getting harvested today, then chucked on the truck? Just put on the truck this afternoon and laid first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Six o'clock tomorrow morning. How many so square metres? 10,000 square 10, metres. 10,000? Yeah. Wow, okay. 10,000 square metres. Yeah. Is it a new field or? Yeah, uh, it's a refurbished field. Caught FTM, but we call it top, field top making. Yep. So we field top make the, the, the field first. They come in and leveled it, laser leveled it. We come and done the final level on it last week, and now we're ready to lay the turf. Okay. So it'll be a two to three day process. And this is how you do it? This is how we do it. Is this always how you do it with the maxi rolls? Yeah, we've got another another machine that pulls it up the conveyor belt. Yeah. But this actually cuts a lot better. It's an old school way. Yeah. So you got a tractor, and then it's hooked up to, what, what do you call this? Uh, it's a quarter maxi roll harvester. Yeah. Um, we've had it for years. It's an old dinosaur, but it still works the best. Well, that's all that matters, hey? Yeah. It's hooked up to the tractor here. It's got a turf cutting blade underneath it in coulters. Oh, there. Okay. When, when we were driving, you can have a look at it. Too. Yeah. But it's got turf cutting blades that cultivates it and cuts it to sides. Yeah. Then at the back there, it rolls itself back up. Okay. And then you, you physically have to have someone. You physically have to flip it over. Yeah. And, and roll it. All right. And the reason they do these maxi rolls it's just because they're bigger areas or bigger areas less joints yeah. establishes a lot quicker and ready to play on a lot quicker than smaller rolls how long till it's ready to play oh on? you've got to give it at least four weeks okay uh yeah so sometimes i see on sports fields it looks like it's been laid down yesterday yes so that's called ready to play stuff so it's a synthetic backing yeah. synthetic fibers with sand it's infilled with sand and then normal turf is then sprigged into it and grown into it so you're getting a, a synthetic and, a, and a, a natural turf surface, which is laid down straight away into the field, and it's ready to play on straight away. Does it, it's already established. It's so it hold, holds mil. itself together better because of that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh, mate, yeah. That's... I reckon we had 40 mil last night. 40 mil. Oh, mate, it come through here so quick. Eh? The road was closed. They said they had wires down. Down the road there, about four or five power poles just yeah, okay. over eight. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, you're okay. driving today? Yep, I'm driving. In the tractor. I'm I'll get some footage of uh, right. it being rolled up, these maxi rolls. Square meters, okay. And is it a meter across? No, 1.2 wide, about 18 meters long. 1.2 by 18 meters. Do what you gotta do. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just getting in the way.
there we go, it gets laid down here, ready to go on the truck. A little bit wet, as I said, they had about 40 mil last night. They don't muck around, do they? I guess that a lot of people I see whenever I'm um, doing stuff on my lawn, which is the same as this, they ask what seed it is or whatever, but it's it's not grown from seed. This stuff, to regrow it, yeah, now we normally do like scalping videos where we coat the dirt and everyone kind of is worried that they've killed their tift off. With this one, I know they leave the strips in the middle, but even if they don't leave the strips, you, you can see the rhizomes yeah. on the dirt. It's and I, regenerate I, I bet from that. you within 15 days, it's starting to green up already. <laughs> the ute's about 500 meters that way and Karthik asked if it was unlocked. He needed to get something out of it. Um, he's empty handed, so. I'm guessing it wasn't. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know, it must have self-locked. Yeah, yeah, it probably did. Yeah. It's, a, it's such a um, calming place to be, isn't it? Especially when you walk away from the, the tractor and there's, there's not the noise of the tractor. So this looks like some more residential style strips that they've been cutting here. I'm not sure of the exact size. It looks like it's about 600 mil wide, but you can see the new growth on the surface here, which is why I'm not afraid when you see me cutting my lawn pretty much back to the dirt, which is nothing compared to what these guys are doing here, but look at that. So they've finished one row. Looks like they're going to start another one now. Are you coming over, Carthy? Standing over there. Yeah. I don't know if I introduce you. This is Patrick from Must Turf. Um, I spoke to you a while ago. We've been trying to tee this up for me to come out and just have a look at what you guys do. So I yeah. appreciate you having me out here. Oh, it's great. Karthik and I were just um, assuming that little tuff that you leave, that's for growth, but obviously it still grows through the middle. Yeah, th this buffalo does you know, leave the tuff in the middle, but the tiff tuff you don't have to. So you don't even need to use yeah, that. Yeah, that, just... that's just machinery operator. We're leaving a little bit of strip because we're steering by hand on this machine and leaves a little bit of a strip. The beauty about Tiff Tough, it's got rhizomes, which are rhizomes tuck underneath the dirt. So as soon as you cut the top off, it comes back up and that's what the new growth is. Which is what we're doing all the time on a um, renovation, cutting it back somewhat to the dirt, but then you see how aggressive you can actually be. Oh so yeah. How, how, deep, how deep is about, your turf cut? About five mil, five to okay. 10 mil. And that's five to 10 mil under the surface. Under and the it surface. still pops back in what, a month turnaround usually? About a, nah, it pops back up within a few weeks. Yep. It takes about six months to get it fully full grown. Full coverage? Yeah, full yeah. coverage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's in Tiff Tough. Other varieties take about 12 months. Okay. Is Kaikuyu any quicker than Tiff or about the same? Uh, about the same, but uh, Tiff Tough rolls up a lot tighter when it's a lot younger. Okay. So yeah. we can get a harvest a lot quicker on a tiff tough. What's the mowing kind of? It looks about 40 mil? No, nah, it's about 35, 30 okay. to 35 yeah. mil and on it. how often do you have to cut it? We're cutting every second day at the moment. Because of the weather? Because the of the weather, is, the yeah. humid weather. Just yeah. We need to get it nice and tight yeah. for this sport field. Um, ideally, we want to be at 20, 25 mil, but the weather hasn't allowed us to do it. It's, yeah, it's just, tough at the moment. It's just really it? tough, like yeah. with the rain and... It gets away on us and then we go down and scalp it, but we need it looking good for this field. So we're mowing about 30 to 35 mil at the moment. Okay, and that's the mower. What sort of mower is it? I think they call them a rotary mower. We call them just a roller mower. Yeah. Um, but they've got, they're not your normal cylinder mower. They, they spin around with so little it's a, tips. got a rotary blade on it yes. and it has a roller at the back just to keep it. So you roll it back and front yep. and just squashes everything down. And it's got four big dishes with four blades on it. Okay. And, and it's towed behind the tractor. Is that up there? Or? It's up there, yeah. Outside? Yeah, or? Uh, yeah it is outside. Before yeah. I go, I'll, I'll Yeah, yeah, it's all folded up, yeah. so just have a look. Go right. through the shed there. And Anything else you yeah. got? Yeah, the height. So, Carthy. <laughs> uh, um, you know, the other one I was curious was obviously each time you guys cut, you're taking a chunk of soil out. Yep. So, how often do you keep top dressing to make sure you're not well, we sinking into the ground? We don't need top dress because the, the, the actual soil that we're taking out is actually organic matter mm -hmm. so all the time the clip we don't collect the clippings so the clippings go back into the the thatch of the turf um so it's all the clipping builds up all the manure that we put on it that that, that builds it that makes the topsoil that we cut out so it actually doesn't sink down much at all on, okay. on a turf farm cool. that's that's cool I, yeah you, I you thought... might take a bit of natural soil out but not much at all okay so you don't need to replenish it at all no nah. that's no. yeah I, I was surprised there too yeah. and uh, the good old floods bring them back in anyway yeah of course, of course. a lot so, of silt coming yeah, through because yeah. the river is just what 
300 metres that way? Yeah, about 400 metres that way and yeah. another K that way. On and that that's side where too. you get all your irrigation from, the yes, Hawkesbury? Yeah, all yeah. Hawkesbury, yeah. All right. yeah. Do you need some sort of special licence yeah, for that? Or? Yeah, yeah okay. every, we've got to have a licence to pump up yeah. at Hawkesbury, yeah. Okay. Speaking of the river, Patrick was just telling me that uh, it's, what, how many floods we had in the last we've five had, years? Like? We've had three floods here, like yeah. big floods. I think there's been about five floods in the Hawkesbury in total. Okay, and you said, what the last one or the highest one went to the tip of those tip of the trees. Trees, yeah, yeah. Okay. When it does flood, what what are you, what are the repercussions for you guys? Oh, uh, there, there's there's been so, there's soil and silt everywhere. Yeah. All our turf is damaged. We got to replant it and wait another year for a full crop. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a good year and a half now since the last flood, and we're just getting through all our harvests now. Harvest now, so it's been a long time in recovery. Do you have to break up all that silt? Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. we, we roach a hoe it and, and put it back into the ground. So it's just like starting totally S fresh. Starting totally fresh, re-level yeah. the paddocks, eliminate the paddock that you got, Yeah. re-level it and start again. So costly again. exercise. Costly exercise, exercise. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Are, are there any mitig... I've noticed some of the um, farms around here have those like mounds. Are they like a flood mitigation Look, attempt or...? It's, it is a bit of that. Yeah. Um, we don't know if it's going to work. Yeah. We, we just it's, we put it in since the last one. We haven't had a flood since. Yeah. So haven't been tested. But I guess tested. when it's going to flood, it's going to flood. It's going to so flood. You're yeah. Not, you're not going to stop it. Um, new variety. So if you're introducing a new variety, yep. now I know you guys are with Lawn Solutions. So how much do you normally start off with in terms of? Because a lot of people ask, uh, how do you grow tifta from seed? Yeah. Okay. And, you know, it doesn't. It's not grown by seed. So yeah. you guys got to start somewhere, right? Yes. So yeah. how's that process go when you're introducing a new variety into the farm? Right. I'll show you. So we literally Lawn Solutions Australia imported um, tifta from America, and it literally come in a few runners like that, a handful of runners like that. They all were broken up and grown into a nursery down the south coast. Then we got given maybe two or three square meters. Then we cut them up into little pieces again and keep multiplying, multiplying. It's about a four year process to get a full paddock worth of tiff tough Australia wide. So you get some little turf babies and then you... And then we breed it from there. And from, from when we get it, we probably got about a two year process before we get a full crop. Okay. Um, by the time we expand it, slowly expand it. But once we get that full crop, it's, it just keeps multiplying, multiplying spread it through other paddocks. That's crazy, it doesn't take much, does it? It doesn't take much at all, Especially yeah. when you look at the, the size of these places. Yeah, like, yeah. it's huge, yeah. 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 Uh, so how many how, uh, square metres does this whole um, farm the, hold? Are the farm square metres? Oh, 60. A lot. It's a lot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can work it out, I've got the calculator out, but yeah. yeah. You got yeah. that much, you're losing track of it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we might find some down yeah. the back there that you <laughs> forgot about. <laughs> yeah, it's tough and uh, not We've got to ask that. So, Karthik yeah. just asked what Patrick's growing at home, and you were saying. I grow the tiff tough, yeah. How, love do you, it. how do you cut it? Uh, just with the rotary mower. Yeah? Oh, at what well, sort of height? You know what? Just just an auto mower, a Husqvarna auto mower. Ah, so I did I see one of those up there for yeah. the, um, what, the, the sample plots or whatever up there. Yeah, on the sample plots there. Yeah. Um, where we're Husqvarna auto dealers. Oh, okay. Um, we got we got one mowing the hill there, it maintains the hill. A little. Is it out there now? Five. Yeah, it's out there now. So there's a, a new variety. Quick grab the shovel, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Which I've, I like the look of it. I haven't seen it, a lot of it, but... Um, oh. Australis. Australis. So it's a uh, type of zoysia. Uh, it's kind of like between a fine leaf grass and a and a buffalo, I guess. Isn't yeah, it, it is. It's between a cooch, a Bermuda grass, and, and a buffalo grass. Yeah. Uh, it's a zoysia. It's from the zoysia family. Yeah. Um, very low maintenance in terms of household lawns. Uh, it, it grows reasonably fast. It can recover fast. But it, it doesn't need that like a cooch lawn that, that maintenance like a cooch lawn like the two cuts a two cuts a week. This you can leave it maybe cut it once once every two weeks if you had to. Sure. Similar, very similar to the buffalo. Buffalo, so okay. Yeah, All very right. similar. To, it's a little so bit far, faster, faster than, than the Grange, okay. Yeah, yeah. When it's All right. meant to be like really good shade tolerance, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it is. Solace? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It bounces back real quick. Um, you can mow it low as 20 mil, I reckon, and and mow as high as 50 or 60 mil, and it still look really good. Hmm. And you can cut it back to the dirt for a reno at the start of the season? 100%. Or? It's got yeah. little rhizomes in it too. Okay. And that's the beauty about it compared to buffalo. Yeah. Have you been selling much of it? Uh, we're very new to it. Yeah. Um, we, we've sold four acres of it last year. Mm -hmm. And this is the next four acres we've got coming up. And we've got another four acres down the road. So I reckon it's going to be a big hit this spring. And who's it been going out? Just out to? household landscapers. Yeah. Uh, sort of residential house, households. What's the square metre? price uh same as buffalo it's retailing at 13 or 14 dollars a square meter okay 
it's got a nicer look of it than the buffalo to me. Yeah, Again, that, that mid sort of between that fine leaf and that wide leaf. Yeah, it, it actually out of the fa- out of the zoysia family is probably the best one for the pets because the recovery rate's real quick compared to the Sir Grange yeah, or, yeah. Or, or previous zoysia varieties. Got a lot of work. You got a lot of work to do, obviously. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you get, get back to it. But um, this is getting um, laid tomorrow at. Laid, it's, we start the job tomorrow morning. You're That's, going out there, are you? Uh, no, I've got the crew out there tomorrow morning. Okay. I'll be back here harvesting. So yeah, okay. We'll be harvesting for two days and laying for two days to get it down. All right, nice. Well, thanks for having us out here. We might just have a look around if you're all right with that. Yeah, no you? worries, Tim. That's yeah? good. Yep. Right so further to what we are saying about how that you can cut the um, tiff tuff down to the dirt, uh, this is the Sir Walter Buffalo, which you can't do, and that's why they. it's important that they leave this strip here so it can then go on spread out because that's not going to regenerate through here like the tiff tuff or the zoysias so yeah very interesting buffalo grows completely different to the other ones we just stumbled across this uh, this is some stuff that's not out yet uh, new horizon pass palum i think they were is that what he said new horizon pass palum new horizon pass palum i hope i got that name right they're just trying it here meant to be really good for around uh, saltwater areas so if you're near the coast or but potentially even around your saltwater pool or something. Very tolerant to that. So I guess this is the display turf area, all the turf that they have here. Is this the Primo? This must be, yeah, this is it. Hello, oh, the way he was looking at me. Hello, hello. Oh, the, the tail, I like the tail, come on. This is um, like next level to yours, Karthik. It, it feels- what, what, what do you think that is? This is, this will be the Primo for sure. Yeah, definitely, you can feel it. it the density is just crazy and the... So I'm not sure if this is actually available. Hello. So this uh, this first one here is what Karthik's got a trial patch at his place out the front. I'm not sure if it's on the market yet. It's a Primo Zoysia, very dense leaf pattern, uh, very tight. Well, you can feel, it kind of feels like that plant that you had. Is this just the Sir Walter? Hello. Oh, hello. That's a she, Karthik. Do I have to explain? Sorry. How about all that works? I don't make prejudgments on whether the dogs are here. Then this would be the, um, what we saw over there, the Australis, I, I reckon. Wouldn't you think? Yeah, you can feel how soft it is. It's very soft, isn't it? This is my assumption that it is anyway. And this would be Tiff Tuff. This is what they were cutting out there. That's Kaikuyu. This is the Eureka Kaikuyu, which is what I have out the back. So this is what I have in one of my front patches out the front, Sir Grange Zoysia. They've got it mown at two heights here. As I said in my video a couple of days ago, that it looks good cut high or low. This is just, you can leave this just to go wild like that and it just looks awesome. It won't grow much higher than that, if at all. But then also, it looks good at a maintenance height. Same grass, would you believe? Kathy's found a friend. I'm in heaven. Someone that understands him. <laughs> oh, no kisses. This dog just gets you, doesn't it, Kathy? No kisses. Hello, are you coming with us, are you? You coming with us? So here is what mows all this grass. You've got a tractor and it tows behind uh, this cutting setup, which is you know not unlike what's under your normal rotary mower. Uh, yeah, yeah, the only difference is obviously roller front and roller back but that's what they're cutting it with. That's a better look at it. So you got two cutters on either wing and then we've got four on that main back section there. Now they did invite us out here. They are very busy though, so I don't want to take up too much of their time. I am going to come out when they're cutting some residential turf um, and maybe when Patrick's got a bit more time to show us around the whole operation. Uh, I found it pretty interesting. What about you? Mate, it's one of the things that I've wanted to do for <coughs> ages. So I got golf course, Bowling Green, Sports Field, and Turf Farm on the list. I also did speak to Patrick about trialing a few of the, the push mowers I've got here because uh, you've got multiple different turfs, plenty of it to cut, perfect place to test. Anyway, see you in the next one. Uh-huh, 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 uh-